Hey guys, this is Sun's fan with a spotlight video for Phantom Assassin. The Veiled Sisterhood gave me everything. My life, my skills, my family, my very purpose. So when the Veiled Oracles provide me a list of names, I never question what it is I need to do. Phantom Assassin is a common black hero with 6 attack and 8 health. She has a passive named Efficient Killer, which will allow her to deal plus 4 extra damage when hitting heroes. Phantom Assassin's signature card is the 6 mana spell Coup de Grasse. When used, you will condemn a hero, with the cost of discarding a random card. This will go through everything, including damage immunity. PA's stats are god tier. 6 attack isn't the greatest, but with her passive that becomes 10 against heroes. Plus, 6 against creeps is more than needed anyway, so in most scenarios she might as well just have a base 10 stats. She also rates 2nd highest in HP for black heroes with 8. And then you get to her signature card. Anytime you play against PA, you're scared of the ever approaching 6 mana round. Of course, you do discard a card when using it, but taking out a hero can be the game winning play, so it's a risk you'll have to take. Keep in mind that Coup de Grasse only works on heroes and not creeps, and the word condemn is not really counterable outside of a death shield. This means that not even damage immunity will save you against this card. <coughs> Synergy. <coughs> PA is all about killing heroes, and she doesn't want to use her signature card unless absolutely necessary. Because of this, supplementing your deck with cards like Gank, Pickoff, and Hipfire can be very effective, the latter being even more so as you'll gain initiative, therefore setting up a potential coup play in the following lanes. I'm also a big fan of Murder Plot for those situations where 10 damage just isn't quite enough, plus it'll allow you to redirect your attack in case you get an undesirable arrow. Heroes. <laughs> For synergetic heroes, just open up the card gallery, close your eyes, and point at your screen. Guess what? That hero will work well with PA. In all seriousness though, if you're running black, then it's very likely you'll want to run this hero in it. She's very flexible in the fact that she can be the one taking out heroes, while you delay for the late game when combining with blue, or any other variation you can think of. Counters. Countering PA can be tricky as she's a top tier hero. Killing her would be nice, which could come from a variety of red heroes, although it might end up being a trade. Lion's Finger of Death is pretty handy as it does just the right amount of damage to take her out with base stats. Tinker's Laser is quite effective as Disarm can take her out of the game, and probably her least favorite card to go up against is Cheating Death, as her signature card essentially becomes a discard one card and have a 50% chance to condemn an enemy. Items Phase Boots are pretty desirable as swapping with units in your lane can net you an easy kill. And as with many hard-hitting black heroes, Assassin's Veil is super good as you'll be able to redirect your attack every two rounds. To see the ratings of all heroes from professional players, be sure to visit artifaction.gg. If you want to learn the game or just brush up on some mechanics, our in-depth tutorial is also available to watch. Thanks for watching and subscribing to Artifact Cinema. Be sure to click that bell icon in order to get notified when we put up a new spotlight or guide.